Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a base warp item. So this is an item that you can use from anywhere except in battle, and it'll take you back to your home base. So let's uh, walk to a random spot, take uh, check, take a look at our items. We call I call this one a nest warp stone, but you can call it whatever you like. And uh, when you use this item, it'll take you to your home base where you can have your vendors and... Uh, whatever you can imagine your crafting area or whatever you like um, but what this item is going to be useful for is like say you get in a dungeon and you get like halfway through the dungeon and you know that you can't make it to the end and beat the boss you're too damaged but you don't even have enough life or MP to get back to the entrance without dying and what if you can't save it in the dungeons as, as well it could be a big hassle so you would just use your nest warp stone, go back to base, buy some items from the vendor, and then you can uh, use your event to go back to where you were at and continue where you're going. So let me show you how to make that. The first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, make a common event. So we'll go into our database and go to common events. And we're going to make a, an event that says warp to home base or whatever you want to call it. It's, base, it's really simple. You're just going to control variables. You're going to set three variables. So you're going to right, right click insert new con, uh, control variables and we're going to go to uh, set uh, the first variable which is going to be to the map. So you can call it player's map position or map, map to base or whatever you want as long as it's something to do with map. Because we're going to go to game data and we're going to set it with the operation and uh, set it to the map ID. So that's the first thing you're doing. You're going to create a, a second variable, do the same thing except this time we're going to set it uh, to game data and we're going to select uh, not actor, uh, character player map X. So we'll call this one uh, player's X position or something like that. And then we're going to set the same thing for Y, right click insert new, uh, a new control variables game data, same thing except this time we're going to select, select map Y. And uh, once you've got those three variables you can show an animation if you want or sound effects. We're going to transfer the player to, to where you want them to be in your base, like preferably right next to where they can work back out but it's up to you. And that's it for the common event. Then we're going to go to items and we're going to create a new item, give it a name and description. Remember you can color code items uh, or names and, and uh, descriptions by typing forward slash C and then the colors are in brackets. Um, and then you're going to call on that common event right here in the effects by going to other, down to common event, and selecting that new one that we created. In this case it was warped to the nest. And uh, so probably give it a key item and make sure that it's not consumable unless you want to make it consumable where they'd have to uh, acquire uh, these by some way or maybe buy them or, or maybe they're drops or something. So consumable is up to you. I, I specified no and I set it as a key item. Occasion I would say menu screen only because I don't think the transfer event would work in battle anyway. So you might as well not even give the player the option to confuse them. So that's basically it. Um, you've set your variables. And you uh, have to do one more thing actually. You have to go to your uh, area and uh, your base, and you're going to show animation or sound effects or whatever you want. That's flavor. But this is one thing you have to do. You're going to transfer player, so new event, transfer player. Except this time, instead of selecting a location, you're going to select the three variables that we set in the common event. We're going to sele select map. We're going to select uh, for map, the ID. We're going to select, select the X position for the X and the Y accordingly, to Y to Y. So once you've done those three, um, you're pretty much set. And no matter where you go, as long as you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, as long as you're not in battle, you'll be able to um, warp back to your home base from anywhere. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you want more content. If you have a special request, leave it in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. It'll probably be pretty quickly. So thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. We'll see you in the next tutorial.